Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 237. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 233 to 245. Hey, in this one, we're going to see six different functions for rounding. We're going to look at round, round up, round down. These will um, round to a specific digit. And then we want to look at the parallel functions M round, ceiling, and floor, they don't round to a specific digit, they round to a specific amount or multiple. Let's um, see how round works. Round is the standard rounding rule. So we have 100 and well, that didn't work. We have a 101.40. And the standard rounding rule, you select the digit you want to round to. We're going to round to the integer. You look one to the right. If it's five or greater, you hack off all the digits and add one here. If it's four or less, you hack off all the digits and don't do anything. Leave it the way it is. The round function will do that. Um, so we're going to do equals round. And here's the number we want to round and the number of digits. We're going to put 0. 0 means you're rounding to the integer. 2 would be to the penny. Minus 3 would be to the uh, thousands. All right, so we're doing to the integer, so we put a 0. Now, round uses the standard rounding rules. Now, round up will uh, do go to a specific uh, digit, but it will always round up. So we'll say round up, and we're going to take this number right here. Looks like I forgot my um, equal sign. Equals round up. And we're going to click on that, comma, zero. It's going to go up. See, even though it's 0.4, we've instructed it by using the round up to always round up. So as soon as there's any decimals, it just jumps up to the next one. Round down, round down. We're going to take that uh, one cell to my left, comma, zero. And right now it's um, going just, it's looking like it's just like the round. But if we change this to nine, the standard rounding rule would say change this to 101. But sure enough, round down always rounds down. Now let's look at the uh, parallel functions. Um, but this is, these are rounding, but to a specific amount. So M round applies the standard rounding rules, but to an amount like 10, right? Ceiling will always go up to some multiple, we'll say 10, and floor always goes down. Let's see how this works. Equals M round. Now, M round requires um, that you have the analysis tool pack added in in 2003 or earlier. You go to tools, add ins, and then add the analysis tool pack. It's already, um, this function comes by default in 2007. So we're going to round, um, take that number there, one cell to my left, comma, zero. Uh, sorry, 10. Now what this is going to do is it will always round to the nearest 10, right? So 101.4 is 100. If I say 105.99, still going to be 100. As soon as I go to 105, now it's rounding up. It's going to go um, uh, to the nearest 10, and so that's the nearest 10. Ceiling equals ceiling. It always goes up. And by what amount? That multiple of 10. So right now, it's automatically going up, no matter if this is 101.01, forget it. It's going up. If it's a 99, it's going to be 100. And then finally, floor equals floor. We're going to say this, comma, 10, and it will always round down. So even if this is 109, uh, as soon as it gets above 110.5, it's going to round down but um, by a certain amount. So M round ceiling floor um, are for rounding to a specific amount. And round, round down, and round up are for rounding to a specific digit. All right, we'll see you next trick.